This is exciting because a lot of these cars just look normal, but they're not. But they're not normal, Andre. They are not normal. They are not normal at all. Here we go. Alrighty. Hello, guys, and welcome to another episode of What Car or Truck Should I Buy? I'm Michael. And I'm Andre. And uh, today, guys, we're doing an early show because, uh, as you may have seen in the chat, there is a very scary blizzard rolling through our state right now. Uh, and there's some threats about power outages maybe happening. Yeah. So we wanted to get a live show done before the power potentially goes out. And if the power does go out and the stream stops, well, at least you know why. <laughs> uh, but welcome yes. back. Today we're talking about actually the top 10 best sleeper cars you can go out and buy today. And what's a sleeper? A sleeper, at least the way we made this list, is a car that looks pretty normal but is not very normal in terms of performance. These are things yes. that... They, they look standard, but they're just way faster than you think There's they should There's a little bit be. of a beast lurks within. Oh, man. A lot a lot of a beast in, <laughs> in the case of some of these. Yes. Uh, as always, guys, please be sure to drop some of your questions in the chat here. We'll do our best to answer a lot of those. Uh, we like to interact with you guys. And also, if we miss a sleeper that you think needs to be on this list, drop a comment as well. Tell us uh, what you think are some of the cooler sleepers you can go out and buy today. Yeah, and we already have a lot of people joining. David, Street Muscle... Uh, Ron, Scott, thank you. Thank you guys for joining us as always. Yeah, welcome guys. Uh, should we just should we hop right in? Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's go. Let's do the it. First sleeper. Okay, uh, the first sleeper that we're talking about today, number 10, the Toyota Camry XSE V6, and I also tossed in the Toyota Avalon. Uh, both of these have a rather large naturally aspirated V6 engine. They do 0 to 60 in 5 or I think it's the Camry does 0 to 60 in 5.8 seconds according to Motor Trends. So you can yes. get a Camry with a V6, it does 0 to 60 in under 6 seconds. Wait, so Mike. What? Yes? It's a Camry. Yeah, and it's yes, a Camry. But, but, but let, me, <laughs> let me just explain. So, it's a Camry. It's one of the most common and popular sedans you can buy in the country. Indeed. Right? Yep. They sell over, what, 350,000 of them a year? A lot. Many. So, yeah. so you, can, you, know, you can find them at the rental lot yep. or some, some, somewhere else. But if you get this V6, and it's not clear that necessarily it could nope. be a V6. The only, the only hint is the quad tailpipes. Yes. So yeah. if you don't see that, um, you don't know it's a quick car. With, with V6 power, over 300 horsepower. And Toyota recently revealed their TRD Sport versions. They so, did, yeah. So even, you know, suspension work, yep. tires. Yep. So they're taking it to the next level. And you can have all of this sleeper performance for around $35,000. Uh, which is very impressive. Good deal. Uh, good deal. One of the one of the least expensive. Actually, that's funny. We we organized this list in order of zero to sixty times. Yes. So the the quickest car will be number one. Um, and we also included the price about most of them. And there's like this perfect relationship. The the, the quicker the zero to sixty time, the more expensive the prices yeah, get. For, right. the part, for the most part. For the most part. Yeah. Speed speed costs money for the most part. Speed costs so money. So why did you throw in the Avalon? It's, I mean, it's basically a similar platform, right? A similar platform. It's the Toyota New Global Architecture Dash K TNGA yeah. K platform. Uh, same engine, similar amounts of performance, and the Avalon actually comes standard. In the touring trim, which is like the sporty trim, with adaptive suspension, uh, which is another sporty feature that I wanted to point out. But a little, a little pinch a little, of performance. A little, little sporty spice. Going okay, on well, for let's you. move on to the next one. Uh, the next one, number nine, is the Honda Accord with the two liter turbo, which, by the way, can be had with a six speed manual transmission. Yes. Uh, zero to 60 in 5.7 seconds, according to Motor Trend. So a direct competitor to the Camry, actually. Yeah. Uh, and just a hair quicker, zero to 60. Starts at about thirty thousand dollars with the six-speed manual. This is just—it's such a great powertrain, and it's really quick for an Accord. I had a great opportunity. I went to the first driver um, event for the Honda, for the mm -hmm. new one, yeah. with the two-liter, and they also have a ten-speed automatic. They do. And I drove a Camry V6 back to back with this Accord, mm -hmm. and we also have a video on TFL Car about it when we compare the two cars. Yeah, on the uh, dyno actually. Yeah, and, and also just around the streets. Yeah, which is really fun. And what I noticed with the Accord. While the Camry feels kind of, kind of a little bit more massive and substantial, the yeah. Accord feels a little bit light on its feet. It does. It's just a little bit less curb weight. Yeah. Um, and paddle shifters, and it's cool. Ooh, look at this. Uh, Zach. Ding. Red Robin sent us two bucks. Red Robin, two bucks. Thank you very much. Thanks, Red Robin. For um, using super chat. Just wanted to jump in with the comments. Uh, several people are saying Mercedes E63 S. We will get some Mercedes here in a minute. Yes. Hold um, your horses. Yeah. And then. No yeah, pun intended. Says, uh, hello from 
Herb Easley, Volkswagen Mazda in Wichita Falls, Texas. Hello. Hi. Asking about the Infiniti G35 sedan. We're just talking about new sleepers. So cars in current production you can buy. Yeah, this is stuff you can like go out and buy year. new. Yeah. Like this year. Like this year, brand new. Uh, these but are, that's, yes, that's another sleeper. That is a good the, one, though. Yeah, that, that's a really great one. So the Honda Accord, in my opinion, so first of all, it's a detuned Type R engine. Yeah, it's basically the same thing you get in the Honda Civic Type R, but with less horsepower. Right. So, I mean, in theory, if you are so inclined, you could probably tune that motor a little bit. I would think that's doable. You, you yeah, know, you and, and get a little bit that. more oomph. So, it yeah. looks like a regular sedan, but it's got a lot of performance. It's got some pretty good power. Uh, all right, number eight. Shall we move on? Yeah, let's go. Uh, number eight on our list is the Buick Regal GS. Uh, according to Car and Driver, 0 to 60 in about 5.4 seconds. And you can have one of these for $39,000. And by the way, we've tested most of these cars here in Colorado. We have, yeah. But we're at elevation. So right. our times are often a little bit off of this. Usually. There are yes. some exceptions, which yes. we'll touch on but There's an exception bit. that yeah. we'll touch on at the end of this show. Exactly. So stay tuned for that. Please. Because turbocharged cars often can make up for elevation. And this car did. It, uh, just uh, insanely. Mind-blowingly so. so. Yeah. So the Regal GS, once again, looks like a sedan. Regular old uh, Buick, Buick sedan. has, you know, that kind of connotation of kind of luxury and comfort. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not really like a sporty brand no. necessarily. Not bad. But the GS kind of bucks the trend a little bit. It does. And, you can see it has uh, some sporty brake calipers. This one has red paint. Some nostrils up so front. It's, <laughs> It likes it's to flare its nose at you a little bit. It's a little bit more angry, and it's really quick. Yeah, the, I mean, surprisingly so. You're getting close to five seconds in a Buick sedan there. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty yikes. Pretty incredible, actually. So some of the other uh, comments, like Randy says, Chrysler 300 SV8. That's a pretty good one. That's a good option. Yeah. That is a good one. Once again, a, bi a big sedan, but with a giant engine. Big underneath. old engine under the hood. Uh, 2019 GTO. Uh, we, don't we don't have a GTO. We don't have the GTO. Oh, is that a? Are you referring to a Ferrari or something? No. Um, <laughs> the Audi um, RS3. The reason why it's not on this list because it looks really sporty. It, it looks uh, like a like a hot hatch. Yeah, it is a hot hatch. And it, well, here we don't hot. get the hatch. Hot sedan. Okay. Hot, hot golf based. Hot, hot sedan. Hotness. It, in Europe, you'd get the hat. Uh, so, <laughs> so, uh, so it's not really a sleeper because it already like drips with. Yeah, there's with badges all over the yeah. place. It's got spoilers and splitters and well, a lip spoiler. You know what I mean, though. Yeah, it yeah, looks yeah. the part, right? Sleepers are things that you know. If you if your mom pulled up next to this in her station wagon or her minivan or whatever and looked over, she wouldn't know the difference between that and the regular old version of it, right? It's, yeah. it's something that blends in really well yeah. with some less sporty cars. Speaking of a little bit uh, masked and blending in, oh, man. next one on our list. Seven. Number number seven, I had to throw this in there. Uh, the Volvo XC90 T8, or actually I kind of opened it up to any T8 power, power plant trim. New Volvo T8. Brand new Volvo. So the T8 trim is their twin charge two liter four cylinder, so turbocharged, supercharged, hybrid. Uh, and this combination that Volvo is putting in the XC90, the XC60, uh, the V90, and the S90, and basically yes. their whole lineup at this point, yep. uh, it, it makes over 400 horsepower. Uh, it, it, which is a is that right? Right, around four hundred horsepower. Right, but but the only thing the only thing that clues you in is there's a little, little tiny badge, badge yeah. and it says T eight on it. It's just just, just this big. And and it it propels these cars to zero to sixty in a, a really ridiculous time. The XC90, for example, the T eight version does zero to sixty in five point three seconds, and that's according to that's, Volvo. That's the rating. Yeah. Uh, and that's the slowest one of the bunch. <laughs> uh, and that's the giant SUV. Yes. So th to give you per some perspective, you know, they, they, they are really quick, those T8 trims, uh, because they make the best use of that of that Electric hybrid, motor. The electric power just comes Right. So, so not can, only can you go, you know, using electricity and save right. fuel, but also you have performance to back it up. Really quick. And you can get, like you said, an XC60 yep. and kind of the rest of the lineup, mostly with this powertrain, which is yeah. insane. It's incredible. I, I wanted to use the uh, S60, the, the small sedan. They have a special trim called the Polestar Engineered Trim, which that one does zero to 60. It's the T8 power plant. It does zero to 60 in like the low four second range, but they only made 20 of them here for the US. Uh, so we took it off the list because you Collectible. basically cannot buy one. Yeah. Uh, actually, you can't buy one at all. It's there. They do it through the, the rental or like the 
Care by the Volvo Care by Volvo subscription, subscription, service. subscription oh, service. service. So you can't okay. buy one at all. You can like own one for a little while. By the way, the Buick GS started about thirty nine thousand. Yes. Uh, the Volvo XC ninety T eight starts around sixty eight. Yes. The, for the T eight trim, you're starting at almost. Yeah, 70. and there was a comment here that these are some of these are expensive cars. Yes, that's true. They can be. But yeah, they can be. But but this is the currently what we can buy now. Right. Uh, and number six exactly. is a little bit less expensive. Um, I was just going to say, for people talking about the Audi RS line, <laughs> we, we talked about it. We talked about RS3, RS5, RS7. Yeah. yeah. They're a little but sleepy, but they, mud not much. They're quick, and they look more sedate than other performance cars, at least on the outside. I'll give yeah. you that. Yeah. They're conservative. Uh, they're conservative. Yeah. But the yeah. thing is, it's like these are cars you wouldn't necessarily expect to be quick that are quicker than you'd expect. You would expect an RS Audi to be fast. That's yeah. If right. you see the RS badge, right? Yeah. And and the and know, it looks slow and. Can mean. you pull up a picture of an R like an RS three? Just just. It would be kind of hard to do. I. Can while you guys are yeah just about but pull one up and we'll, we'll but, make a case. But um, like um, Nick Hill uh, Tomar says, E sixty three wagon. Uh, it looks like a station wagon. Yeah, it looks pretty yeah. conservative. Yeah, that would be that. That kind of makes sense. That's too. that's fair. We, we will get to Mercedes later on. That's yeah. later on the list. A little bit. Um, little bit. Number six. Yes, let's the do number six. Ford Fusion Sport. Uh, does zero to sixty in five point three seconds, according to Motor Trend, uh, and the starting price is right around forty thousand dollars. You can get it with all-wheel drive, yep. and it's a it's just a surprisingly quick Ford Fusion. Really, is what is what the case is here. Yeah, once again, it looks like a Ford Fusion. Yeah, I it mean, does it's a regular. Like a looks like a sedan. Yes, it has quad pipes. It has quad so, pipes. So it's like one clue. You get one little hint. And one, it has, one you, can, you can get a spoiler for it. Yeah, and. Uh, once again, we tested it. Up. Actually, Paul had it on the track, mm -hmm. um, so you know we we thought it was you know it was worthy like to kind of give it to Paul and see what he can do in the track. Heck yeah! It, you know he wasn't super impressed with the car, no. but acceleration wise, it's fast in a straight line, super quick. I mean, you could yeah. you could blow out some some stock three series Beamers. And it will give a run rate. for its money to the Honda Accord. Obviously, it, it's yeah. quicker. It's listed as being quicker. It's listed as quicker. And the Camry. So. Uh, yeah, I, you know, it's one of those things that if you see a Ford Fusion, you don't expect it to be fast, right? It's a Ford Fusion. Scott, found an Audi. There you go. That that is an Audi RS. Okay, a, other than the color, it's green. <laughs> B, it's got huge wheels. It's got all these vents and grills, and that that does not. I mean, forget the color. That, that is not a fast. sleeper. That looks fast. <laughs> Yeah, the Audi RSs are. We're not going to count those as sleepers because that you you know if it's an RS, it's fast. People are mentioning the Dodge Durango SRT. We did talk about that one. Yes, we did. And we have a well, we have a Jeep on this list. We'll too. get we'll get there. We'll get there. So we'll, we'll don't get give away there. too much. Don't give away too much. Yeah, let's move on. Yeah. It's on our thumbnail, guys. It is the thumbnail. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Oh, dang. Cody, Cody Smith, Smith, five, five bucks. bucks. Hey, that's Co a good point, actually. Cody, are you on the on the is board? Is Cody on the hood? So for five bucks in Super There's Chat, Cody Jackson. We can uh, we'll we'll put you on on our, on our hood, in a studio. For ten bucks, you can get a bumper sticker, car or truck. Twenty five bucks gets you a patch, car or truck, car and, truck, and fifty bucks gets you a hat. So we always appreciate your help, as uh, you know, Super Chat. Donations always help. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you guys very much. Okay, should we move on from the Fusion? Yes. Uh, number five, someone already said something about this earlier on. Who was it? I want to give them a shout out. because Number five is a Golf R. The Golf R. Well, someone very close to your heart. Yes, it is very close and to And my, my heart, heart, too. I'm a big VW we're, fan, we're both, too. We're, we're both Volkswagen fans um, here. Golf R is a little bit different than a RS3, in right. my mind. The, be because it's yeah. more ordinary looking. The Golf R looks like a it apart like a from, like a like a like a Golf GTI. Apart from a slightly different lower fascia, and a chrome stripe across the grille, and an R badge, and the quad tip exhaust, and the wheels, it looks <laughs> just like a regular old Golf. I mean, Any other Golf. Know, my mom would confuse that with a regular, a regular Golf. golf. Right. Our, you so, know. but it's not regular. No, it makes almost 300 horsepower. It's got all-wheel drive. Yes. You can get it with a six-speed manual, uh, and it's does zero to 60 in about five seconds, a little under, uh, depending on who you ask, starting around $40,000. Golf R's are a sleeper, if you ask me. Actually, I think the Golf R is more of a sleeper than the GTI is, because the GTI, you get the little red stripe, kind of has the, you know, the, the mm -hmm. 
a little a slightly more sporty a appearance. Of color. Yeah. yeah, some some pops here and there. And the Golf R is like you know, if you didn't know golfs, you wouldn't know that it's that was mostly monochromatic, and it just kind of yeah understated. It blends in. It's but understated. Then it'll come out and surprise you. Yeah, five uh, second time ra rating about forty thousand bucks. Yeah. So pricing starting price is about the same as a Fusion Sport. Where what was the source on the five second time? I thought it was in the mid fours. That's according to Volkswagen. It's under five. Under five is what yeah. they say. Yeah, that's okay. what they say. Um, okay, should we move on? Yeah, number four. This is a very interesting one. Yeah, this one was. And funny. we've tested it recently at TFL. And it was surprisingly fast. Yes. Uh, number four is the BMW X3 M40i. Uh, it does zero to sixty in four point six seconds, and it could be yours for fifty-five thousand dollars starting. Uh, this has the heart. Of a lot of different M performance models, right? It's the straight six turbocharged. Yes. Uh, it's got a lot of horsepower and it's a 355. crossover. 355. 355 horsepower. Uh, it, it's a crossover. It's it's a small yeah, SUV, so right? It kind of looks ordinary, right? It's a yeah. crossover. Yes, it has maybe slightly larger air intakes in the front, yeah. right? And uh, but so here's what BMW does really well. Yep. You know, their turbocharged engines, especially the straight sixes, mm -hmm. are amazing. They're also, their V8s are amazing as well. Yes. And they compensate for elevation like no other engine, almost. Almost. Almost like no other. We've, whenever we test the BMW, they almost match their 0 to 60 uh, sea level ratings up here, here at a, here mile, above at a sea mile above sea level. It's incredible. And when this pulls up next to you, it looks like a kind of any other It's like an any X3. Other X3. Yeah, it could be you know an X3 with an appearance package. But, but its rating is 4.6 seconds 0 to 60. It's so quick. And it's real. <laughs> it's so we, quick. We came close to this time in our testing. Yeah. And it's also efficient, so if you step out of the gas, you can drive it normally around and, town and get some and, gas and get decent efficiency. Yeah. So, so this is a really an amazing package. If you're looking at the X3, I would say try to get that M, you know, go for the it. I. This is one of those try. one of those cars too, where it has exhaust modes, uh, and and you can <laughs> you, you can get this to crackle and pop like a forward focus rs you know you give it a little <laughs> blip and it goes <laughs> boom, bah, 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 bah. it yeah. just makes all these great noises uh but it's an x3 and uh, you know i would not expect an x3 to be a quick car but the x3 m40i is and they actually just came out with an actual x3 m bmw just revealed that uh, yeah we haven't tested it yet, we haven't so. tested it that so i'm i'm uh, so. sure it's a special and also car, the full also. Uh, you know anything that's like a full-on performance brand like a full m car or a full amg we're kind of avoiding because those, you know, if you that, see them, they could become yeah. more obvious. They become more right, obvious, right. usually. Right. Uh, all right. Number we, three. Do we have any questions, by the way, Zach, that you wanted to point out? Uh, not yet, but a few people were mentioning the Cadillac CTS V Sport, not the full on CTS V. Yes. But the V Sport. But your V Sport. And that's a good one, too. Yeah, we yeah. didn't put yeah. it in this list. But that's there, a good there choice. isn't one reason we didn't put any Cadillacs on this list is because Cadillac is a little flashy. To They're begin pretty with. flashy. I mean, yeah. just. Just kind of the brand vision of it. Yeah. So it's not so much as a sleeper. Yeah, it's got uh, a lot, you know. So it's got chrome, kind of cachet and yeah. chrome. Um, but that is a good option. Anyway, also, yeah, we, 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 we try and keep it to like, you know, one vehicle per manufacturer. manufacturer. Yeah. So GM, we already had the Buick and we decided to go with that. By the way, if the um, lights are flickering, uh, it's not just you. Uh, yeah, the, we're almost about to have a power outage. Yeah, so we, we apologize. Might, we might lose you guys. Here we apologize. Okay. Uh, all right, good. moving on. Uh, number three, this one I had to put in there. Yes. Uh, the Genesis G70. It does zero to sixty. If you get the three point three liter twin turbo V6, it'll do zero to sixty in four and a half seconds, and you can have one for about forty five thousand uh, dollars. It looks like uh, you know a slightly performance oriented sports sedan i guess but it's but it's a genesis it's more of a luxury brand uh but if you get this thing on drag strip or on a track it'll knock it'll, your socks off it'll honestly. embarrass a lot of sports cars it's it's really. a really well done but machine genesis i mean there's not a lot of them out there yet no i mean no. so it's not a very common car so if you see one you may not know what it is you know what what is that sedan it looks like a normal yeah luxury sedan yeah. but but then you line up against it at the traffic light and, and it takes off. 365 horsepower coming out of that twin turbo V6. Yeah. Uh, it's the same power plant that's in the Kia Stinger. And the reason we didn't choose the Kia Stinger uh, is because the Stinger looks a little bit more aggressive Flashy, yeah. than the Genesis here. Uh, they share a platform, they share an engine, but the Genesis feels like the more sleeper pick out of the two. It's a great car. I, I'm. We haven't had one here in the office. I haven't driven one yet. Uh, I got to I've go driven on, the Stinger. You've driven the Stinger. Yeah. It's a very similar experience. Yeah. 
The Genesis is a few inches shorter than the Stinger, and it's a lot lighter because Genesis uses more aluminum body panels. I think the hood uh, and some of the doors or something like that, whereas the Genesis it or the be Stinger a, is steel. In theory, a hair quicker. It's, it's a little than, bit quicker. Yeah. It's just lighter. It's a little bit tighter as well because it's shorter. Mm -hmm. uh, Driving-wise, this feels a step above in terms of performance, uh, and they're just surprisingly quick for what they are. Um, okay, number two. Should we do it? Yeah, number two. Uh, let's go there. Number two, we're finally to that Mercedes we were talking about. We chose the – so a lot of you guys are saying the E63 AMG also. Quarter Jacobson, five bucks. Here's a few bucks to help pay power bills so lights stop flickering. <laughs> it's Thanks, not Scott. our <laughs> – thank you so much. We, we uh, pay the bill. It's uh, not uh, our fault. <laughs> going out. It's, uh, it's a 40-hour uh, mile-per-hour win. So a lot of you guys are saying the E63 AMG should be the pick for Mercedes. And, yeah, uh, yeah, you know, I think the, the E-Class wagon, fairly unassuming to look at. A wagon, very rare, though. But the, rare. the AMG badges are usually pretty obvious on and those. And they're known already. And they're known. Of, yeah. uh, so what we went with for Mercedes is the S560 4-Matic. So it's so not, a regular, pretty much a regular S class. A regular S class. But what's interesting about this is that it does 0 to 60, again, in 4.5 seconds, which is actually quicker, right, Zach, than the AMG version of the S class? No, the oh. S65, which is going out of production. Right, the right. V12 one. That one is about four and a half point four point six seconds. So this matches that. The S5 or the yeah the S560 matches that. Right. The S63. So the smaller AMG. AMG does zero to sixty. In, I want to say three point six. So yeah, it's under four. <laughs> so, I know that. So we did specifically did not put an AMG model here. Right. We chose um, no AMG. So models. here's the thing. I drove one of these about a year ago. Uh huh. So first of all, it's a special experience. Yes, the starting price is one hundred and five thousand bucks. Yeah, but I think you're getting that's your a money for it. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot of um, money. You know, when you buy quality, when you pay that, you know, high dollar. Yeah. You expect a lot. Yeah. And the Mercedes S Class gives it delivers. You, it delivers. It delivers you. Yeah. First of all, the cabin is luggerious. Beautiful. You, you step into it. It's large. It's very airy. Yeah. Uh, the exterior styling is conservative. Very. You know, if you saw this on the street, it looks like maybe looks like, like a luxury a, airport shuttle. Yeah, like a limo. Uh, like yeah. a limo would. But then you step on the <laughs> accelerator pedal. And you're gone. You're off. And <laughs> that <laughs> V8 just wakes up. Yeah. And it's insane. For a big car. Yeah. For a heavy car, it's hella quick. Speaking of big V8 powered heavy cars, <laughs> number one. Number one on the list. Uh, so number one, you probably already know by looking at the thumbnail, or maybe you don't know because it doesn't look outstandingly different from a regular old Not Grand much. Cherokee. Not much. Uh, number one, we picked the Grand Cherokee Trackhawk. Does zero to sixty in three and a half seconds because under the hood is a massive supercharger V8 that makes seven hundred and seven horsepower. Basically, a Hellcat motor. It is a Hellcat motor. Uh, they cost starting at eighty-seven thousand uh, dollars, but. If you okay, look at this picture, right? And the the ways that you tell that a Trackhawk is a Trackhawk is number one, this little supercharged badge right here. Number two, there's a little badge on the back that says Trackhawk. Brake calipers. In the orange, br yellow brake yellow, calipers. Yellow, yellow brake calipers. Yes. Uh, and the hood scoops. And the hood scoops. And a couple hood scoops. And otherwise. That's it. I mean, if if you didn't know to look for those really small details, you would have no idea that there is a 707 horsepower V8 under the hood, uh, and they are just absolutely blisteringly quick. Trucker Dan, five bucks. Woo, Trucker Dan, we always love your support. Thank you very much. Uh, I like the subscriber counter. Can can't wait until I reach that point. You guys always make great videos. Hey, Thank thanks, you, Trucker, Trucker Dan. Dan. Appreciate it. Appreciate As it. always. Um, so yeah. So so if you want to kill most. Sports cars. Okay. Off the line. Off the line. Yeah. You can do it in the Jeep. You can just <laughs> put your foot down. And yes, Zach. So I just want to say, you know, last year when we had this, I had the choice to drive either this or the M5. Uh -huh. And I'm actually really glad I picked the Trackhawk. I laughed mm -hmm. like an idiot the whole week we had that car. It, there's something it's great. You know, I picked the M5 out of those two, but that's because... Uh, to, each, like, to, each to, to each their own. But yeah. this thing is like... It's well, unreal how fast it is. It's cheap to have 707 yeah. horsepower. No, That's exactly. No. Speaking of which, um, Ramble and Ram had a really good comment saying, I'm curious how many Trackhawks they've sold. That's a great the question. The answer to that, not many. Yeah, not a um, lot. <laughs> there have been several Well, reports. they don't disclose those numbers, right? No, they just yeah, do but, the whole Grand Cherokee line. But right. the thing is, there are multiple reports of Trackhawks sitting on dealer lots for months on end because FCA dealers can't move or Jeep dealers right. can't move them. Because it's, it's a very niche... SUV, uh, right? Daniel just bought one. Daniel just bought one. Congrats, Daniel. Oh, 
Trail, trail hawk. hawk. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> you you got me there, Daniel. Track hawk. The track hawk. But here's the about. thing. If you want a track hawk Grand Cherokee, you could go and get one for a substantial discount because they're not moving. That's right. interesting because a that special version of a car usually, or any performance... They're about Sometimes they get upcharged, yeah. right? Sometimes they upcharge. Them, R- Raptors, right? you always get upcharged. Yeah. Anything, you know, Hellcats. Like, even at like first. Super STIs, any, STIs anything like that. Uh, Type R Civics, those are always upcharged. Right. Focus RS. So if they're not moving many of these, you can get a better well, deal. Go grab even. a discount. Why not? It gets yourself seven. And this thing power. can also some do some towing. You can hook up a boat to this and speed down to your Is lake. What, around 8,000 pounds? It's, it's, uh, it's like 7,500 yeah. or something. The, I know the Durango. So someone uh, talked about the Durango SRT earlier, right? That is the most towing cap- capacity you can get which out is of a Durango. A, which is very surprising, too. By the way, the SRT, I was lobbying for the SRT Durango, to be on this list. Yeah, yeah. I got overruled. But still, that's also kind of a sleeper Yeah. Uh, in some, it in is. some ways. It is. Um, because it's got a 6.4 liter Hemi and will tow 8,600 pounds. Which is incredible. Which is a heck of a lot. Of, and we've done a lot of towing with that yeah. Durango. The reason well. the reason I I tr- pushed for the Trackhawk over the Durango is because the Durango A the one that we had that was a tester had black racing stripes, stripes on it uh, and a red in, a red leather interior and B because this looks just as unassuming but it's got that much more performance. So I figured that this was technically a better sleeper okay, I'll give because it it'll you. surprise you even more than Durango. So here's a question. Give it to you. Future classic. Ooh. This yes or no? I, this? Oh, man. I, so there's three. If they survive. There are three uh, <laughs> points, I think, <laughs> for a future classic. Uh-huh. So it has to be, obviously, hugely fast. Yes. Usually having two doors is a big part. No. And selling very few numbers. So they haven't sold many. That's good. So that's good. And it's really a fast. Huge performance. Yeah. It does not have two doors. Does not have two doors. Uh, but or, and it's not a convertible either. That's the other one. Right. Convertible usually helps. Uh, so this is not a great cl- future classic, but could be approaching that status. Potentially, you know, yeah, yeah. Gregor, uh, Gregor uh, Miller. Bucks. He's on the hood somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure of it. <laughs> uh, love your post. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your support. Thanks, uh, Gregor. Appreciate Gr- it. Gregor. Um, the same. Tr- uh, show Trucker Dan some love and sub. Some to his channel. love and sub. <laughs> nice. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for from both of us. Well, thanks. Yeah. Thank you guys. Um, uh, I, man, I don't know. What. Classic? About, I don't know if it's a future classic. I'd argue no, actually. I, I, I don't I, I, think I, I. it will be. Because the thing is, yes, it has. it's fast. It has the Hellcat engine. Yeah. But you just don't associate Jeep with, with huge high V8, 700 horsepower. Yeah. You know, if you associate them with off-road capability. Now, the Challenger Hellcat, Yes. that's another story. That or like problem. a Red Eye or yeah. maybe a Demon. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's definitely approaching that approaching status. Approaching the status Future classic. Sure. Yeah. So this, I'm not sure, man. We're, we're going to argue a car here, aren't we, Mike? Oh. The one you want it to be. Bonus. Yeah. Okay, so this one I put. Okay. Bonus. This one we have to take in context of our own video that we did with it. So the, the bonus. And we have a video to prove it. We do have the video to prove this. Yeah. The bonus is the Audi A4 Allroad. So, Audi says that at sea level, it should do 0 to 60 in 5.9 seconds. Yes. And we did a video comparing this to the Volkswagen All Track, which yes. is like the same thing, but it's a golf wagon. Yes. Uh, you know, lifted, cladding, off, a little bit off roady. Off roady. This, up here at a mile above sea level, you had a 0 to 60 run that was 5.89 seconds. So, technically quicker yes. than what Audi says it should do at sea level. <laughs> yes. Uh, um, it, yes. Anything in the five second range up here at a mile above sea level is a quick car. It That's surprised just, the heck out of me, yeah. and I think all of us. It was just. It was one of those things. And where I, like, I will back you up on this. So Zach, yeah. Zach is Zach protesting said no. this a little bit. Uh, it's like it's You're right. I am. It. This is an off roady like mom wagon kind of yes. right with a two liter turbo, right. not a not particularly a lot of horsepower. two hundred and forty eight horsepower. And yes. it did zero to sixty in five point eight nine seconds. Up yeah, here. And, and, and I'm not yeah. a lightweight guy. I'll, I'll admit. Yeah, we're all some big boys. You no, know, I'm not a hundred and forty pound, you know, race car driver. No. Uh, so, so it was quick. It was very impressive. Was the really way it quick. launched. You have to brake torque it just a little bit to build boost. But we always do that but in it, a turbocharged once car. Once you do that, though, it just takes off. It just it's ready. It's really quick. Yes. Uh, so you know, let me know. And also, actually, speaking of tuning, you can totally tune the crap out of this motor. It's the EA triple eight. Engine from the, been tuned. It's been, it's been tuned. You can make 300 <laughs> yes. horsepower out of that with just a flash of the ECU. Uh, yes, Zach. 
So, uh, one more thing. Going back to the Trackhawk slash Durango mm -hmm. SRT for a second, I think we can close on this because yeah. uh, I'm afraid we're going to lose power. Yeah. But uh, Rob Stunner was arguing the SRT is 30 grand cheaper and still crazy fast. That's true. And true. that's what I said about the Trackhawk in my review. Yeah, it's expensive. It's, it's expensive. Yeah. And. If it were my money with fuel <laughs> so, yeah. economy and just for cost to buy one, yeah, so, I would have the Grand Cherokee SRT. Oh, you would take the Grand Cherokee? Yeah, oh, I SRT. think it looks better than the Durango. Not a Durango. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Not okay. a Durango. Yeah. Oh, see, there, between the Trackhawk yeah. and the... Yeah, I guess Durango we'll call it... SRT? We'll call it Trackhawk and, and either the, the Durango or the Jeep SRT, because they're functionally very similar. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd probably take the SRT, too. Like, as for which one I would actually go out and buy. And maybe that's why so many people aren't buying the Trackhawk, right? Is because they think to themselves, okay, I could spend nearly a hundred grand on a Jeep Cherokee, or I could get 80% mm, of the performance for 30 grand less. I don't know. Um, if I if I was shopping for anything over sixty grand, yeah, I I'm sure I could afford you know eighty seven grand, yeah, or that's eighty true. grand. Yeah. So if I was in that category, I would I would think that uh, I would want something really special because some of the used first gen SRT Jeeps, yeah, um, are are almost going up in value. They I mean, actually are starting to go up a little bit. Some of them. Ones. I mean, we're still talking about like fifteen or twenty thousand, right? You know, but but relatively still, speaking, though. Uh, but in the used market, they're appreciated because they do have a lot of power. Tons of power, and, and loads you, power. you can also tune them. Yeah. By the way, people put headers on them. I mean, yeah. they do crazy things. Very so, easily. I don't know. Um, really quickly, uh, people have been mentioning this. Jake ben uh, Banman Bonman says the Taurus show is quick. Yeah, yes. but it's going out of production. It's, so it's, it's, gone, out it's gone out of production. It's, of production. it's done. So we, we didn't yeah. include it because you you hypothetically can't buy a new one right now. It is um, also a sleeper, technically. Totally a sleeper. Was. A sleeper. Uh, was a sleeper. Yeah. Yeah. My, my thing about that is if you want a tar show, get there are probably new ones out there. Yeah, you Just can find them on a lot. Can. Yeah, if, if you really like it. Um, Cody says that uh, uh, RV is also a sleeper because you can sleep in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's not. And bad. on that note, thank oh, you. Uh, oh, wait, one more thing before we go. A lot of people are posting trucks. Uh, we are going to do this list, but with trucks soon. Yes. We just wanted to keep this to cars for today. And tomorrow, we're tr if, we, if we're not buried under snow, right. all of us, Big uh, we're, we're going to be doing a talking truck show tomorrow um, afternoon. Yeah. So we'll see. And we'll, t we'll do a lot of truck stuff. And somebody was asking about iGauntlet videos. Oh. We do have more iGauntlet coming so, up. So many. <laughs> so stay tuned. It's going to be uh, most, uh, on the TFL truck channel. So I yeah. uh, appreciate it. Uh, time to go. Should we call it? Place out. Okay. Hey, Thank yeah. you guys for joining us thanks today. Thanks for joining and thanks for your support yeah, on Super Chat. Glad we didn't lose power yet. Thanks a lot.